Okay, this is for people like myself who cannot afford a metal lathe, or couldn't anyway, and I wanted to make do with what I had. What you're looking at is a Rikon benchtop mini wood lathe. Uh, it's really, really well made. It's heavy duty cast iron bed. Uh, nice motor pulley system in the back. Uh, step pulley system in the back right here. And my wife came up with this project for me. She wanted me to uh, cut an axle for a vacuum cleaner because we couldn't order the part anymore. Uh, the company did not offer parts or anything. So my solution, I'm going to swing around here for a second, was to use my drill press as a milling machine. And what I did was I turned the shaft and I used the vise to uh, hold the tools while I ran the... Uh, quill up and down against the part and it worked relatively well a lot of chatter as you would expect uh, no rigidity using a tool that was uh, for something it wasn't made for so back to the wood lathe or uh, the wood lathe slash metal lathe now uh, eBay is your friend if you want to try a project like this uh, I made it relatively simple it took me a few tries um, the hard part was getting the tool post uh, and the tool to center on the work the way you're supposed to. Uh, and I'll get to that in a little bit. So what I started out with was the cro uh, cross slide table. When I got it, uh, I, used, I modified uh, some clamps to work on it with the T-slots in order to hold an old tool in order to turn this handle here uh, out of steel and this handle because they were both broken uh, and I saw that on the eBay ad and he stated that they were broken. So when I got it, uh, this was my second project, but it was the first one uh, on this lathe using uh, slow spindle speed. And the slowest that this spindle will go uh, is on the left pulley at 430 RPM. So those handles were turned at 430 with a lot of chatter and I ended up using a file and sandpaper uh, in order to finish them up. However, uh, they work really well. Um, the handle spins here and uh, they, they do the job. Uh, that was just half inch round stock uh, got at Ace Hardware. Uh, the sliding table, I took it completely apart. It was just dirty. It had some metal chips on it. I cleaned it up really good, lubricated it, put it back together uh, and it runs relatively smooth. Uh, one of these days I would like to sit here with some lapping compound uh, and true it up just a little bit more, but it works fine for what I'm doing. Um, the tools came from eBay. The quick change tool post, I've already put something on eBay or rather um, YouTube on that. Uh, $98 for the AXA style. It's a clone uh, from China. And I'll go ahead and zoom in on the name there, give them credit. Uh, this came from a company, a website company called CDCO Machinery. Uh, they shipped it right away. It came with the five parts. It was wrapped in cosmoline and plastic. I cleaned it up and it works just beautiful. You'll see that on my other eBay video that I put in. Let me turn this light off back here for a minute. There. Not quite so harsh. So anyway, uh, I'm, now that I have it mounted, what I had to do is um, I made a piece of steel uh, for the T-slot. And my third project on this lathe was to turn the shaft here that actually holds it in place. I'll stop the video right quick and uh, show you how the shaft come out. It, it didn't come out too pretty at all. But again, I didn't expect it to. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, I went ahead and disassembled it. Let me put this on the table right quick. Hold on. Get rid of some metal chips. Okay. So what I did was uh, I turned, this one was the original one, I turned it too thin. Uh, the threads came out uh, too thin for the nut. Uh, I bought the nut at uh, Napa Auto, by the way. That's uh, this one right there. We go right there. Uh, it works well. Uh, washer from the hardware store. Uh, and that just cinches down on this piece right here uh, on the tool post. So anyway, T-slot slide right there. Uh, I had to modify the shaft a little bit to fit down inside the T-slot. And let me wipe this off right quick. 
Just finished this today. That piece of steel goes on as a spacer to raise the tool. It was just a little too low when it sit flush uh, on the tabletop there. And then, sorry about that, the uh, tool post holder, the washer, and the nut. It's kind of hard to watch the screen and do this at the same time. I'll tighten this down in just a minute and I'll show you how it works with the camera on the tripod. So, uh, this is a about a $300 lathe. Nice motor on it. Uh, the table, if I remember correctly, was about $50 to $60 with shipping. $98 for the quick change tool holder with five actual uh, tool holders that came with it. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. Uh, I got the wedge type because everybody said the wedge type works better. Uh, I don't know if it works better, but it works really, really well as far as I'm concerned. And what I'll do is demonstrate it right quick. I'm going to turn that harsh light back on. And what happens... I guess that light is too harsh. What happens is, when you, if you'll watch this part right here, uh, as you turn the handle, pull the handle towards you, this drops and it actually expands and grasps the, uh, grasps the tool really well and holds it on there uh, firm. Uh, now, even as rigid as I made this, uh, there's still chatter. The table has a little bit of wobble. Uh, so there's, you're, you're using a tool that's not meant to be used for this. So expect some chatter. However, this was two quick turns uh, right here. And it's all hand fed. And what I'll do is I'll take some light turns in a few minutes. I just want to smooth this out and we'll see how the actual finish is because I haven't seen it with this new tool holder yet. The last part was how did I go about mounting the um, uh, sliding table, cross slide table onto the lathe. Uh, it was relatively simple and what I'll do uh, and, uh, later on is I'll disassemble it and I'll add it to this video before I post it. Um, this piece of steel right here was actually ground to fit in the slot itself. It runs the full width of the base of the table and then some. Uh, and I threaded it um, for these two bolts here, for this one and the one on the other side. Those two bolts hold that piece of steel up against the lathe, or the, yeah, the lathe table, or the cross slide table. There's down here, these two pieces, there's one here and there's one on the other side. Sorry, forgot to look through the monitor there. There we go. Uh, that piece on the bottom is threaded and it actually goes under the way here and here. So it actually extends um, about three-eighths of an inch to either side. And then this bolt right here uh, is threaded into this. So the bolt slides freely through the top one that holds the table, but it threads onto this one down at the bottom down there. Sorry, my finger's in the way. And then there's one on the other side just like it. So the steel rod is held to the table and the steel rod holds the table uh, to the way itself. And you loosen this one and the other one up and the table will slide back and forth the full length of the bed. You can slide it off if you want or you can disassemble it. So uh, let me get, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to mount this on my tripod and we're going to do a little turning and see what happens.